pretty much do anything he wants and people are going to adore him. Such a humble young man as well. Comes away on day two. Easy. Sorry. Original Munzingware, David. Yeah, the, the, the big solved. penguin. Yeah, that's his clothing manufacturer. Oh, this is this is bunkerish. Yeah, held up just short of it. That's Mickelson-esque. <laughs> Even he said it. That's so good. Yep, Cameron Smith with the outfit of the day. Yeah, it was a spectacular second shot into the par five last there. Beautiful draw. He needs to fraction too much. So if he can get the one up and down at one, that's, I mean, just yeah. pick it up. Well, if you're going to miss it, that's Absolutely. the spot to miss it right there. And Jerry, if the roles were reversed, I'm pretty sure you'd have done exactly the same thing. Well, we got it back, though, Dom. <laughs> I, uh, I have a pilot's license, which might shock you. And me and my other brother-in-law, who was also seasick, went to the nearby uh, municipal airport, took a check ride on a little Cessna, Rented it for an hour, went out and buzzed him on the lake just to scare away all the fish. <laughs> oh, a lovely touch there from Cam Smith. As bad idea as getting into an airplane piloted by Jerry Foltz. Although I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go back on that. I want you to fly us at some point. I will do. Plenty of height to save it if I screwed anything up. But, uh, and the de Havilland Beaver was, was surprisingly easy to fly. You know, right pedal, turn right, left pedal, turn left. Principles of flight are the same with every aircraft. Some obviously a lot more sophisticated than others, but uh, landing's the only thing you yeah. can teach. It's the thing that takes touch, much like hitting a putt a certain distance. Well, I require only two things in an airplane. I want to take off on time, and I want to land on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the third. We're going to see another touch of magic here. It lies pretty good, but it does run away from him, although it's almost chipping into the wind, so that does help. But watch the softness here, the calmness and the softness. Another little easy up and down out of cam, DJ Waiting. What do we got here, Dom? A tough place for you, Dom, to even be able to see the tee on that hole. Yeah, I'm way down there. What clubs he got? Uh, let's just let's mess with him. Wedge. <laughs> that was a three. Would it look like? That's the right club, I think. That was the wrong shot. Uh oh. It's a clear shot. You may have to try and cut it a little bit, but you're just taking the middle of the green from here. No relief, or did he even ask for it, Dom? He didn't even ask. You know, if he dropped it, the tree would block him. Oh, in the hole! It's a little left. It should make the green. Yeah, good shot. These guys can hit it off any surface. Quite often, those hard surfaces are easier than from the rough. Tev, you're doing aim point here. You need two hands. This has got a lot of break, and it's really hard at the end. Yeah, we've got a good look at it. What a putt. <laughs> what a putt from Cameron Smith. That? Good five feet of break. It's just a gift. Cameron Smith to within a shot of our leader, Dustin Johnson. Like it's plugged. Uh, didn't judge the wind 
correctly there. Knocked on. Uh, that club face is not aiming a whole lot right at the hole. He's just going to stick this in the sand behind it, let it pop out. What a shot, Cam. What a shot. What a shot from a difficult lie. Just the touch of a surgeon. Pretty good. Not as good as the face, though. Pretty good. Great things about this shotgun start is no one gets an advantage. They're all playing in the same conditions. Oh. Another beautiful up and down. The only real disadvantage to it is the scoring tent gets kind of crowded. <laughs> yeah. 48 players finishing at the same time. Cameron Smith. Oh, just can't hit it right. You hit it right with today's wind, you're going to be blocked out from the trees. He left it a little right. Uh, he's far enough back there. Couldn't have been a driver. No, it wasn't. The tricky part here is clearing that front bunker. Mm. So they're not going past the pin too much. Straight downwind. Oh. Mm, that's short sided. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just downwind that's hurting him. Otherwise it's a fairly simple shot. Got that one perfectly. Pretty good. Look at this. You can see how far behind the ball he is. A little further than you would think. Good two or three inches behind the ball there. He needed to go a little closer. And it's about a 400 yard walk from the sixth green back to the oh, seventh. Tee. Stop whining. No, I'm not there. Don't worry. I didn't go back to the tee. Cover the only sport where you're allowed to put reporters on the field to play, and, and Dom doesn't even go on the field to play. Mm. No, nope. he's in his and lived to tell about it. Yeah, survived <laughs> remarkably well adjusted mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, Cam Smith now, Dom. Yeah, just a layout for him. Uh, it's not that easy a layup. It's, it's fairly wide, but uh, the left water is certainly in play if you pull it, especially into the wind. It's going to accentuate any spin you put on the ball. Matthew Wolf has hit the most enormous drive ever in the wind, 340 yards. It's, it's ridiculous. It's an outrage. It is. I did a... Uh... You know, when you watch Smith warm up on the range, he just floats these shots, even into the wind. It was into the wind on the range, and he just, he just picks it off the top of the grass, and there's, it's not a lot of compression on the ball. Well, that's the key to hitting it into the wind, is just to hit it softly with plenty of club. Pretty much everyone makes the wrong decision trying to hit it hard into the wind. You hit it hard downwind. to settle. Just no friction whatsoever. Yeah. There. Good call, Dom. center of the hall. 
boy, what a team that was as well. Yeah. MJ, of course, Dennis Rodman, Horace Grant. Yeah, I actually saw them play at the Chicago Stadium in 1991 against yeah. the Golden State Warriors before Steph Curry's time. Mm. Oh, Cam. He also clipped the trees off the tee, but uh, he's fine, absolutely fine. Better angle than Dustin's. And a very, very nice spot to come in from. I expect this to be pretty close. Just got to judge the first bounce because of the wind. That looks good. Yeah, it's good, all right. This is happening. Who played earlier? While Bryson was getting a ruling. And that was a low kind of a quacker right there, but came up in a holdable situation. Over at the ninth, Cam Smith with one of these delicate little chip shots. And this will be a quick one. Back. Cam Smith now at 10. Lovely rhythm. Not for a share. It's very makeable, especially with him. Can you believe how alike he and his father are? It's a spitting image. Well, minus the moule, <laughs> the moule and the mustache. And Cam told me yesterday that grandfather, his grandfather. Is, he's identical to them too. It's uh, no, there's not much in this. Oh. What a good putt. Cam Smith with driver at 11, Dom. Yeah, I'm not sure Cam can get there in two, but the other two certainly can. Just want to avoid these mini pop bunkers to the right of this fairway. He's got that turn in left. It's only 626 yards. A little over a third of a mile. Yeah, it's... So Similar win to yesterday. Now it's it is dying down. Two twenty one out of that seven wood. It's not a doubt it gets in there, is it? No. It's terrible if it gets in that bunker. Yeah, so I think we've got to go to six nine, don't we? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. If it comes out, if it comes out, we're seeing it on the front side of the bucket. Yeah. So what's your tag for the line? Flag there. Well, he's going to right lay up, yeah. lay up. Just right out. Coming down this right out. Just off the left foot of his ear. Rather Nothing than aggressive. trying to force something out of here and try and get it close to the green, going to the shorter club, leave himself leave something like a sand wedge in. Yeah, that's the play, David. And I have here. Good description. Cam, juicy line. There's a lot of grass around this ball. Just got to keep it left of that native area. Can't carry it. And that's going to be fine. You can see the way the fairway squeezes in. That's right in the middle of it. Perfect. This is like playing at like 120. Yep. Heavy. 
I walked down the fairway with Cam yes, and he looks at me goes, he said to me, how did the interview with my old man go? <laughs> I said he was a little bit nervous to start with. He goes, yeah, I bet he was. That was a smart play. Leaving it here. with one last bat. And over uh, at 11, Cam Smith and really good players will chip it from here. It is awkward, though. Yeah, just on the edge of the thick stuff there. Easy, easy there, big fella. Three or four feet in the uh, awkward. Made a big par save on the seventh, the previous par five. Not playing the par fives brilliantly at the moment. No bogeys on his scorecard this week. I know I shouldn't have said that. Mm. Yeah, you got him, Tom. You got him. Is this a real golfing family that we're talking about? There was a Des uh, Smith, Des Smythe. Des oh, Smythe, yes. he was a Smythe, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Is it too? No. He had it online, just knew that he didn't hit it. This will be a little more delicate. Yeah. That's a, oh, hold on. I just got the signal. Seven, Ryan. Seven? Oh. oh, this is up, Matt. Wolf territory. Yeah. play with the iron if it's the pin is front but it's back 25 yards so even if you're just short of the green it's a it's a fairly rudimentary up and down His reactions to some of those guests on Family Feud is just oh, priceless. Yeah. Pro Am, and he said he loves the music, the pounding beats that you hear floating across the golf course. He's delighted to be part of Live Golf. Cameron Smith. Hmm, that was a quick one. You'd be surprised that he left that one short. Seems to have worked out okay. Well, not only for him, but for the guy he's chasing. Same way with Dustin. That's way left. Not on that particular occasion. That needs to catch a tree, maybe. There's a squirrel going to claim it. That's not a nut. Smith at 50. Wow. Yeah. He's just short of the jungle there. Exactly, David. Well, he might clip the top of it on the way through. He's got 202 yards. No, he got cleared it. Yeah. Oh, I think well, this that is did left. not sound like a good contact at all. Oh, oh. 
Just barely, my boy. Well, it over. Well, realistically, the only way to get this close is to land it in on the upslope of the bank of the bunker there. Unless he can play a Mickelson esque straight up his left nostril flop shot. Now this is tougher than the one up on the opening hole. Oh, yes. And that was tough. Just taking his medicine there, really. As Tom said, you know, 30 feet by. Long range for Cam Smith for par. Wow. Just when you think he might drop one. Well, he stays on the coattails of Dustin Johnson. With that stroke of genius, eight under par, DJ nine under, and Cam. No, six iron for Wolf, six iron for Cam. Wind off the left. This is a treacherous green. This is the fifth and the seventeenth. They are the three hardest greens on the golf course. This is leaking a touch right. Oh, it's. Oh, that is dangerously close to the, the little stream that runs down the side there. Okay, well, Cam Smith now, who looked, uh, you know, to be in not such a good spot off the tee, is uh, all of a sudden with a good one here, he can make some ground up. Yeah. This is a doddle compared to the other two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just lands it like a sack of spuds. here he just holds that club face wide open on the way through just pops that ball up in the air kills it of the well, winds died down a little bit oh, it's just picked up a little bit which helps actually on this hole you don't want it to be too strong downwind for the second shot such a shallow green Cameron Smith. Yep, heavy. A good way further back, but in the fairway. This might make a big difference here. Oh, David, it is such a big difference. If there's one hole, you need it on the fairway. This is it. And this is an eight iron. I mean, DJ's got a pretty awful line. He's just shaking his head all the time. I don't know, I'm not sure what he's going to do. here for Cam Smith. This for the outright lead. And you're going to hear some roar if this drops. Right in the middle for Cam Smith. Well, he's got it in him. Jaden Lawson, what time is it in Australia? It's tomorrow morning, isn't it? A little bit of wind off the left, but just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. That was a really soft landing on a severe downhill yeah, slope. It was. From the in 
inside. See the hip turn there and just that long right arm on the follow through. Nothing held back. Over to 18. Right, Cam Smith, just a little bit of mud, and it's not going to make any difference. No, it shouldn't. How about the size of this crowd here? It's unbelievable. 211 yards. Slight downhill lie, so it might come out a little lower, but there's no bunkers to go over. Open green, where the pin is. Yeah. In the hole! That's left. Oh, no, there's a putt. That mud might have been a little factor. It always goes the opposite direction. Not that much break. Where he's standing right there, that's where the slope is. But he's got enough room where it flattens out. It's, uh, it's, it's not a completely fearf fearful putt. With his touch, I think he'll, he'll get it to within four, four and a half, five feet at worst. The other two have asked for a rules official. Right, that's Brad Fable coming up. DJ's on the paint of the drop zone. I believe you're you're allowed relief off the paint, like like uh, like the yardage circles out on the fairway. If you're on them, you're allowed a, you're allowed relief. He was a little unfortunate with that second shot. Dom hit a made a beautiful swing and just yeah. came screaming out of that lie. It did, it did. But it's not a bad spot where he is, David. Smith for the two shot lead and he's got it and a two shot swing 10 under par heading into the final day for Cam Smith two shots clear of our Boston champion Dustin Johnson Cam, at the start of the day, I would imagine your goal was just to catch DJ. Well, you've not only caught him, you're now two shots ahead of him. You must be delighted and maybe a little bit surprised too. Yeah, I suppose uh, it was tricky out there today and I think, um, you know, I think I got a couple of breaks and, and DJ didn't quite uh, make the putts that he usually does, you know, so um, it's going to be tight and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Your dad wasn't at the Open when you won. He's here on the grounds. It'd be great to get a W for him tomorrow, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Dad's Dad hasn't been there too often when I've won, so um, to do it, you know, when he's here would be super special. You super happy with your game right now? Anything to work on maybe later? No, it all feels pretty good, to be honest. Um, I think in the wind, uh, you know, your technique can be uh, shot off pretty quickly, trying to hit different shots, lower shots, higher shots. So um, just something to notice, I, I guess, on the, on the range tomorrow morning, but uh, game's feeling good. Right. Thanks very much. And good luck tomorrow. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Dom. Great to hear from Cam Smith. Boy, are we set fair for the final day and a duel potentially between Cam Smith and Dustin Johnson. Other players in and around the top of the pylon as well, but also the four aces going up against Punch.